Hi, this is Steve, and welcome to another edition of the World of Global Equity Timing. Well, we've shown you a number of examples on our YouTube channel of buying the breakout before the breakout with Global Equity Timing. Today, I want to show you buying the breakout versus point and figure, which is a well-known analysis technique, probably going back 120 years to uh, chart stocks and to look for breakouts. We're going to see here that global equity timing actually buys that breakout before the point and figure chart says to do so. So let's get right to the chart and take a look. So what we're looking at here is uh, DAC New Energy ADR, symbol DQ. And we have uh, some of the things we've been looking at before, and I'm going to go through them. We have uh, ADA, accumulation distribution alert oscillator across the bottom. We have the filter composite up here, which is a voting machine of various filters that tend to predict where the market, a particular stock is going to go. And in addition, we've also outlined a couple of other things that we've shown in the past, which is support and resistance. So here was were the buy signals within uh, the global equity timing world with our using our Atom uh, buy and sell engine. And you'll notice that this was an extremely successful trade. Let's now go and take a look at the how where the actual breakout or the actual buy signal in, occurred within our atom world as opposed to a uh, point and figure. And here we have a point and figure chart. Uh, I've drawn some uh, notation here showing that this point and figure sh chart showed very nicely a, a, a pattern called uh, uh, cup and saucer pattern. Uh, sometimes people call it cup and handle. Uh, but basically you have a rounding bottom and then a consolidation period followed by a breakout. And as you can see, uh, price goes to new highs. Uh, where did the buy signal come for Adam? Well, it came right here. Where would the buy signal come for point and figure? It would come right up there. So another example of where we use standard analysis techniques such as point and figure, the breakout comes after Adam says to buy the breakout, but the buy the breakout before the breakout. Okay, that's point and figure. Let's go back to our chart again. Let's take a look at why we would have bought this stock in the first place, how we would have known that it was going to skyrocket the way it did. There were two things we were looking at here. First, we had in the accumulation distribution alert oscillator, we had a situation where we had a wham pattern. And wham basically says the market as this stock has gotten so, whoops, let me go back here. I apologize for that. Let's get back there. Okay, so uh, the the stock had become extremely oversold, and the market, the stock just could not go down any further. We had a sideways motion and a buy signal, and when the stock has gotten that oversold, and we get a buy signal immediately thereafter, it's a very powerful pattern that tells us price is going higher. The other thing that we had going for us was a filter composite between plus seven and plus nine. Anything over plus five is very positive. Uh, and we actually exceeded that by a considerable amount. And it came before the major breakout of the stock. So I want to talk about the resistance. We had two resistance levels here. And we had a major resistance level. We had a minor resistance level. Note right here, we had buy signals right above the breakout of the minor resistance level. That's very bullish. Notice we had an additional signal right there, and that occurred at the point of the breakout above resistance of the major resistance level. Now I'm going to show you that chart I showed you uh, earlier by mistake. Let's go to that. Okay, this is a blow up of the uh, support and resistance levels that we saw in the previous chart. Here's the major resistance. Here's the minor resistance. Note the buy signals occurring above the breakout of the minor resistance, and note a final buy signal above the resistance of the of the uh, major resistance. Another buy signal. So we like to see uh, atom buy signals occurring just above a, bre a breakout resistance level, and we had two such opportunities. Point is, we're buying the breakout before the breakout, and 
Atom and Global Equity Timing Technologies buy ahead of other technologies that have been around for a long time. Gives you an added edge to get in before the crowd. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this edition of the World of Global Equity Timing. This is Steve wishing you a good day, also good timing, and good luck with your trading.